Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 22623.1325, which is released to the beta channel. As a reminder, insiders who were previously on Build, 226202 will automatically get moved to Build, 22623 via an enablement package. The enablement package artificially increments the build number for the update with new features getting rolled out and is turned on to make it easier to differentiate from devices with the update with features off by default. This approach is being used for the beta channel only and is not indicative of any changes or plans for final feature rollouts. Insiders who landed in the group with new features turned off by default, build 22621, can check for updates and choose to install the update that will have features rolling out, build 22623. Now, moving forward, and talking about what's new in this build, in this build, you'll be getting new widgets for Messenger, Spotify, Phone Link, and Game Pass. Microsoft is beginning to roll out support for new preview widgets for Messenger, Spotify, Phone Link, and Xbox, Game Pass, to Windows Insiders in the beta channel. To give them a try, go to the widgets collection in the Microsoft Store and update to the latest version of the apps. Then open the widgets board and navigate to the widgets picker by clicking the plus button at the top right of the board to pin your widgets. Also, a new commercial policy, which enable features introduced via servicing that are off by default. This new policy enables commercial customers to enable features introduced via servicing, outside of the annual feature update, that are off by default for devices that have their Windows updates managed. Windows update managed devices are those that have their Windows updates managed via policy, whether via the cloud using Windows Update for Business or on-premises with Windows Server Update Services WSUS. Now, talking about the changes and improvements in Build 22623.1325 For the Start menu, for devices that are Azure Active Directory AAD, joined, Microsoft is personalizing the experience by delivering AI-powered recommended content within the Start menu. When you open the Start menu, you will find related content to help you prepare for upcoming meetings, quickly access files you're collaborating on, and more. Moving forward, and talking about the fixes in Build 22623.1325, for Taskbar and System Tray, fixed an issue that was causing the taskbar to be cut off after resolution changes. Fixes for both Build 22621.1325 and Build 22623.1325. Fixed compatibility issues that affected some printers. Those printers used Windows Graphical Device Interface GDI, printer drivers. Those drivers did not completely adhere to GDI specifications. Fixed a reliability issue that occurred when you used Task View. Fixed an issue that affected copying from a network to a local drive. Copying was slower than expected for some users. Provided support for the United Mexican States Daylight Saving Time Change Order for 2023 fixed a date information issue. It affected the format of dates sent between Windows and some versions of the Heimdall Kerberos library. Fixed an issue that affected provisioning packages. They failed to apply in certain circumstances when elevation was required. Fixed an issue that affected which folders appeared in the browse for folder picker. Fixed an issue that affected file explorer. When you used shift plus tab or shift plus F6, the input focus did not move. Fixed an issue that affected the user interface, UI. The volume up and volume down commands from a Bluetooth keyboard did not display. Improve the reliability of Windows after you installed an update. Fixed an issue that might have affected Alsace.exe. It might have stopped responding when it sent a lightweight directory access protocol LDAP, query to a domain controller that had a very large lip filter. Fixed an issue that affected Azure Active Directory Azure AD. Using a provisioning package for bulk provisioning failed. Fixed an issue that affected the software keyboard. It did not appear in the out-of-box experience, OOBE, after a push-button reset, factory reset. This type of reset required an external keyboard to be attached to provide credentials. Fixed an issue that affected IPF. It stopped file names from having the correct letter case, uppercase or lowercase. Fixed an issue that affected Universal Prints Configuration Service Provider, CSP. A command prompt window appeared when you installed a printer. Fixed an issue that might have affected the touch keyboard in the pin entry keyboard. You might not have been able to use them to enter text when you signed into your device. Fixed an issue that displayed a blue screen during video playback. This occurred after you set high dynamic range HDR, on your display. Fixed an issue that affected parity virtual disks. Using server manager to create them failed fixed an issue that affected emote. The text on the status bar was not always visible. Fixed an issue that affected the color filters setting. 
When you select it inverted, the system set it to grayscale instead. Fixed an issue that affected Microsoft Edge. The issue removed conflicting policies for Microsoft Edge. This occurred when you set the MDM wins over GP flag in a Microsoft Intune, tenant and Intune detected a policy conflict. Fixed an issue that affected the Apex State Repository, so, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.